What's good, my people? You know what day it is, Focus Friday? Welcome to the start of our new series, Insecurity. I'm standing up right now. I couldn't even sit down because what the Lord has put on my heart. First off, subscribe to my channel, hit that button so you won't miss out on what's going on with the series. Insecurity means lack of confidence in oneself. Simply put, there's something about you that you don't like. You are afraid that if people spot that out about you, they might not accept you. You might be insecure about your hair, your voice, or your laugh, your height, the way you talk, your nose, your teeth. When I was coming up, I was very insecure about my clothes, my wardrobe. I didn't have the nicest clothes in school. I didn't have the new J's on. I was insecure about my skin. I had eczema. It kind of kept me from being confident. But God broke those chains of insecurity by not giving me new clothes or clearing my skin but by showing me who I was in him. So how do you know if you are insecure? I would say when you get presented with the opportunity and you talk yourself out of it. We're gonna talk about my guy Momo, I mean Moses. So God presents my guy Momo with the opportunity to go and help free the Israelites from Egypt. And my guy Momo starts complaining. He comes up with an excuse. Exodus 3.11, let's check it out. But Moses protested to God, who am I to appear before Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? So God tells Moses what he was going to do to help him say what he had to say before Pharaoh. And Moses still comes up with an excuse. Chapter 4, verse 1, he says, But Moses protested again. What if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to me? Excuses, excuses, excuses. God does it again. Try to help my guy out. Try to encourage him. He tries to talk himself out of it. Chapter 4, verse 10. But Moses pleaded with the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm not very good with words. I never have been, and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue tied and my words get tight. God, 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 God I'm, I'm not. Very good with words. So God responds in verse 11, and I believe God said it like this. Who, 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 who made the mouth, boy? Who makes a person's mouth? Who decides whether people speak or do not speak? Hear or do not hear? See or do not see? Is it not I, the Lord? Moses still has an excuse. He says this in verse 13. When Moses again pleaded, Lord, please send someone else. So God chooses. Moses' brother to help him out. Then the Lord became angry with Moses. All right, he said, what about your brother Aaron the Levite? I know he speaks well, and look, he is on his way to meet you. Now, he will be delighted to see you. Talk to him, put the words in his mouth. I will be with both of you as you speak, and I will instruct you both on what to do. I see that Moses was more confident in, in his ability and not God's ability to work through him. Your confidence has to be in what God can do, not in what you can do. Philippians 2.13 says this, For God is working in you, giving you the desire and power to do what pleases Him. It's so important to know the heart of God for His people. God was not really concerned about Moses' stuttering problem. He was more concerned with His people in slavery. Don't miss your opportunity because of your insecurity cool story that my cousin told at my auntie friend room. When he was young, my auntie would go and pick him up and she would say, I want you to cut my grass. And she would go to the backyard. She would sit him in a chair and give him lemonade. And she would go and get the lawnmower out and cut the grass herself. And she would cut it. And when she was done, she would give him some money. That's God in my life. He cuts the grass. I just show up. And as many of y'all, you are missing out on your opportunity because you're not showing up. You are trusting yourself to get the work done. You are missing out on the supernatural power of God to work through you. If it was you, you would mess up. You would be afraid. But we serve a God who's supernaturally confident, supernaturally powerful, and he wants to display his power through you. So what does showing up look like? Not just going to church, on Sundays or going back home. What showing up means getting out your comfort zone to let God use you. Show up 
and watch God show out. Thank God for watching. Subscribe. Have a focused day. We out.